Hey, what's up? Matt Wyatt here. Devontae Smith, wide receiver Alabama. He's the best offensive player in college football. He ought to be number one on everybody's Heisman list. You ask coaches and evaluators, they'll tell you that. This is a really down and dirty film study. No bells, no whistles. We're just going to look at three plays of Devontae Smith against Georgia. Number one, it's just for fun. And number two, just a teeny tiny glimpse at what makes him so good. So let's take a look at the first play. What we have here uh, is uh, an early play in the first half against Georgia. We'll just let the play run and watch. It's play action. He's top of your screen, and they hit him on a dig route or a deep curl. You go back and look. Inside release for him. That's the key right here. That's objective number one, and they've got exactly what they want, which is man-to-man -man on him out there on the numbers. But if you'll notice, that corner is wanting him to go to the sideline and keep him outside. He's actually lined up on his inside leg. So if we start the play, play action goes away. You see that little move? All right, so he sets him up. It's just one little move to the outside, and now he's going to get inside of this corner, even though that corner doesn't want him going in there. Okay, so now he flips him. Now he's beating him at the line of scrimmage. He's free release. There is no bump. There is no contact. Free release. He is as good as anybody in the country uh, getting free at the line of scrimmage. Then he stems him up. Okay, so once he gets him in, now he's setting him up for that inside move by getting back out here. If there's any contact, it's actually the receiver who's going to force this right here. So, you know, inside move. And now get vertical again to set him up so you can run away and uh, create this throwing lane to the quarterback right here. And he gets that done. Watch him at the top of the route. Now, as soon, here's what another key they have great timing. You know, you, you're behind the logo, so you can't really see it. As soon as he puts his foot in the ground to make that cut, if you notice, the ball is already coming out of the quarterback's hand. So the timing is going to be good. And it's not a true dig where, you know, you're driving it across the field, trying to hit him running. This is thrown really, again, just kind of in this open window, going to stop him right there, and he senses it and makes the catch. So just an example of great route running. Okay, here is uh, here he is lined up down here in the slot, in the red zone, inside the 20. You'll notice what looks like a zone look, but they're kind of matching it up underneath for Georgia. You run the play, they fake the screen, pump it, and then hit him on the wheel for the score. So if we go back... Again, here he is. Um, this is key because they're trying to give them the look of screen to the back where we would block out in front and block out in front right here. And because of that, uh, keep your eyes on Smith. He's going to set this up really nicely. Um, we wind it forward. Off the ball, look at him. He's stalking. He's giving him right now a look of, I'm not running a route. I'm going to show them that I'm, giving it a block look, and as soon as I close that gap, as soon as he closes it, the timing is key, watch him, two steps. Now, as soon as the defender breaks, I've set him up. As soon as he breaks, now I'm gone. I'm going to get on my horse and run it on out of here, try to get it to the pylon as quickly as, you know, as possible. Now he's beat. You see that? So he's turned on the gas. The timing is key. Now DB is going to try to turn and catch up, and it's too late. Now he's beat. And there's an old rule in football, uh, you used to hear old coaches say it, if he's even, he's leaving. Meaning, if the DB's here and my receiver's here running full speed, it means my receiver's going to win that every time. Go ahead and let the football go. And uh, that's what quarterback does. Puts it in the air now. And so you talk about timing. Basically, your receiver is at the 14-yard line when the ball is thrown, and it's thrown to... The goal line, you know, the front pylon, and even underthrown just a little bit. So it's um, an example of how much cushion this guy creates when he gets a one on one situation and that he's beaten him bad enough. The ball did not have to be put out here in the end zone for him to run under it. It's still underthrown, making him stop, but he's created so much separation that it doesn't matter. Another look at it right here, just a different angle. You'll see him, again, stalk, set him up, and then take off to that pylon and beat him. You did have just a little bit of a pump fake right there that helped to pull this defender up, but they got the look they wanted, and that is Georgia matching right here. So that means the corner's going to actually run out of there, uh, matching as in man-to-man. -man. So that kind of clears it out 
uh, for that route. Again, underthrown a little, but enough separation, you make the play. And then last one, uh, we'll take a look. Third play again, they're in the red zone. This time, uh, again, have them in the slot, but just slightly off the hash with the ball in the middle. Let's watch the play first. He's one-on-one, matched up, inside defender, pushes him back to the back of the end zone, makes a great catch. So if we go back and just kind of see how it all happens, um, we'll go back to the beginning. These are one-on-one routes, okay, and they know that pre-snap. You can see quarterback right here. His eyes are already, you know, looking up here. He can see the alignment, knows that. And depending on the call, he can or can't affect it. If that safety stays in the middle, quarterback and receiver both know we're actually trying to get back here and get to this back pylon. So even though that safety's back there, he shouldn't affect this against this receiver. So we start the route, watch him. He'll close that gap with a lot of confidence, not worried about contact from that DB. Um, He'll close that gap and just get all up in his face really quickly. When he does that, all it takes is just, I mean, you know, it's so hard to get a handle on him. People try to run with him. The only chance you have is to really hold him, hold him up. Because if you don't, he's gone. You cannot flip your hips and run with this guy. Once he has one step like this right here, his knee is already to the inside, he's gone. He's running right by you. The quarterback can take this slant right here and possibly complete it uh, for a first down, but the ball's already coming out to the corner route. He's going to try to beat him to the back of the end zone, right? That's the, the route that's called, and that's what he does. It's thrown, if you look, a really nice spot. Because the coverage, the guy turned and ran with him as best he could, closed the gap, He's kind of pushed him back here and not letting him get flat and free to the pylon. So he's kind of pushed him back here vertical in the back of the end zone, using that back line of the end zone as an extra defender. So the ball has to be really well thrown, and it is. But this is an example of a 50-50. You know? And to me, you watch Smith. He's as good as anybody in the country, anybody you've seen recently in college football as a receiver at catching and going and getting 50-50 balls that could be either or. And, again, not a terrible job by the defensive back. He's there, puts his arm between the arms of the receiver, tries to rake it out. This is just incredibly strong uh, by Devontae Smith to go up and get it and then get that foot down in the end zone for a touchdown. It's just a great play. I think we have one more angle of that. And you'll see him kind of close this gap right here, get right up in his face, and then he's going to the inside. It's like even if they're trying to bump him right there, they can't. So once he gets to the inside, DB turns and runs with him pretty well. A little bit of uh, you know uh, contact right here, a little handsy, kind of pushes him back here to the back, like we said. If it had been a free release, one of those, if he'd run right by him, you know he probably turns this thing and is wide open back here on the pylon. But because it's decent coverage, it pushes him back vertical. And now it's just a quarterback trusting his guy. I'm going to put it up. This is totally a 50-50 ball right here. And there are a lot of really good receivers in college football that because of the position of this DB with his arm here, either distract it and don't make the play or get both hands on it. And then after you get both hands on it, allow that defensive back to rip the ball out of there. That's what they work on. This is really a nice job of the DB. It's, it's going to be hard for anybody to cover Devontae Smith any better than this. And look how strong his hands are. He's got two hands on the ball. With the defender's arm between his face and the ball, he still hangs on and still gets a foot down in the back of the end zone. Just incredibly strong by Devontae Smith. So three plays, kind of a down-and-dirty film study of why I think Devontae Smith at 1,300 yards this year receiving in just 10 games, 15 touchdowns in just 10 games. I think Devontae Smith is the best offensive player in college football. And if you had a Heisman vote and you wanted to use it wisely, you'd give it to him.